Good morning. So quickly before we start this video, I just want to say this video is to show you what it takes to run a semi-marathon. So from balancing school, making these videos and the training and is all showing you like the diet and eating, that type of stuff. This is just a representational video and show you what it takes. And before we start, make sure to like and subscribe. Let's go. Good morning, YouTube. I'm in my kitchen, but that's not the. Why, why am I? Why am I even saying this? This, this is not even relevant. So, in exactly a week, I'm going to be running a race. So, like a sporting event, and it's a 20k race. I mean, it's in a week, and I figured I could make a little video about that. Yeah, that's basically it. Spring break is over. If you watched my last video, it was about spring break, and yeah. Yeah, looking at the, the weather, it doesn't feel like spring. Yet. Okay, I'm back in my room. My room is like the, H, the HQ, okay? Headquarters, whatever you want to call it. This is the place to be, okay? I have this Java statue. Anyways, today we are Sunday. And uh, yeah, I mean, right now I'm just working, but tomorrow I would be running 10K because it'll be my last final race before the 20k right and I shouldn't run too much so in this video I'm going to do a bunch of preparations for the race upcoming race lighting's terrible and then next week I'll, I'll be running I mean it's a kind of a mixed feeling I'm kind of nervous but at the same time I'm not it's just running in front of a crowd of people for like two hours straight I mean I'm sure I'll be fine after like a couple minutes of running but at first, it's because it's not the first time I do this. I did one last year and another one um, six months ago, a bit more than six months ago. But those two were, were 10k races. And fucking A, mate! And those two were 10k races, but this one's a 20k. So I don't know how I'm gonna feel with that. I'll see you tomorrow because tomorrow I'll be running after school. Goodbye! Good morning, YouTube. So, I'm very confused. It's snowing and it is late April. A bit more than a month, it's summer. So, I, I don't... I don't get it. Anyways, this morning, I have, I'm gonna have... I'm gonna have classes this morning. And this afternoon, I'm gonna be running the 10k. Like it planned. Transition effect, boom. All right, so it's the afternoon now, and I'm gonna go for a little 10K run. And then I'm gonna go back to school, because I'm have. i not gonna go back home, because I have theater tonight, right? So it's just faster if I go back to school and just work there, and then go to theater tonight. All right, let's do this. All right. I'm done. So I ran all the way from school and all the way down, like to the. I just ran the whole city basically. Ah, shit is uphill, so it doesn't even help. But I did it. Now I'm gonna go get something to eat because now I feel exhausted. Good evening, YouTube. I stayed at school to work a bit more. Uh, I wasn't very productive. Yeah, and then I had acting classes, which was fun. So, I feel like something doesn't feel right. It's, I don't know what it is, right? Recently, I've been feeling this sort of feeling, and I don't even know what it is, right? So that's... I don't know how, how it feels, but it feels weird. But something that does feel cool is I made a, a short, a YouTube short, and it got 450 views. So that's pretty good. Because the, the other one that I made was like 400, 100, but this one is 450. 
so that's like uh, boop no upgrade then then usual so that's good all right you know i'm gonna have dinner now i'll see you in a bit good morning youtube that was very cringe okay good morning youtube so i have classes today all right so that's yeah that's basically what i'm doing today i'm gonna do it right now all right so we're working right now um i'm working on this right so i'm done with studying i'm done with the gym felt good I wouldn't say I had the best pump, but it felt good. I had trouble moving my arms because um, I had a chest day. And uh, right now, I'm on my way home. I've got multiple things. I have to edit a video, script a video, and homework. So, yeah. All right. So, today is 24. The race is 28. So four days left. I've got my hat on. Because it's cold outside, so it protects, it protects my my ears. Then there's my my drink. I didn't make it, but it's, it's mine, right? I always I always drink it. It's always me, even if it's some lady. It's probably me dressed up as a lady. You know? Okay, so today's objective is to run 5k, right? Because I'm not gonna do a huge run a couple of days before. That's not good. So right now it's 5 p.m. Okay, this will probably take me half an hour. So that's the plan. Run and then when I come back, I'm gonna do some stretching. So just grab a normal tennis ball and you can like just massage it on your knees, right? And it makes it feel a lot better. My feet. I'm gonna stop uh, chattering and yappering. And I'm gonna run. Go to a park. All right, I'm back. A very good run. See, I think the thing with me, with me is I run too much, more than actually needed. Because when I do like 17k runs, I'm in I'm in too much pain and I'm too out of energy, and it I and then I'm just I don't feel energized. But when I run less than seven uh, less than 10k, I feel great. I, I have to run more than 3k, but less than 10k. And everything in between that margin, it's it's like, I feel great. Like right now I'm pumped, you know, full of energy. And it's good because I'm gonna, oh right, no I can't. I, I remember that I was gonna go work, but I have to go out later tonight. At least, at least I have enough energy for that. I'm, I'm having the um, black chocolate banana combo. It's insane. If I, if I hear someone whining in the comments that I eat black chocolate and it's and black chocolate is disgusting and na 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 na. No, let me tell you something about black chocolate. Black chocolate is. S tier chocolate. That's it. I said it. Because the other chocolates are way too sweet. Come on now. If it's too sweet, then it doesn't taste nice, right? It just tastes like pure sugar. afternoon YouTube I finished school and I finished my gym workout so there was the back and it was a very good pump I want to add that 
Okay, this workout will be my last like actual workout until my big race on Sunday. Tomatoes, risotto, vegetables, and eggs. Good afternoon, YouTube. It's Friday, no more school, no more nothing. We're done. And um, so I had a couple plans for today. But now that we're getting closer and closer to the actual date, I'm going to have to prepare. So what I'm going to do today as an exercise is it's only, I'm only going to be doing warm-ups like I'm going to do like warm-ups before I, I, I run but without the run and then it's actually not, not a bad idea doing warm-ups for a run without the run that's that's something to think about so that's what I wanted to do on this beautiful Friday afternoon so I've got this sort of balance plate so you stand on it and it balances out it's good just to work simple balance that's it and I don't know why I'm over preparing for this, even though it, once I ran 25k and the day before that 25k, I hit like a, an aggressive leg workout. I don't know. Maybe it's just mental. I don't, I don't know. But it feels it feels nice to to mentally prepare and as well physically prepare for this for this race. Okay, so I'm done. Um, felt good. Very. My legs feel very like stretched out and feel nice. It's cooking time, cooking time, cooking time with Tom. Welcome to La Cuisine. So the thing that I'm going to be cooking tonight is chicken meat and pea pasta and bake. Classic comfort food. It's, and it's Jamie Oliver, okay, the goat. And <laughs> the difficulty of cooking this is super easy. So if I mess this up, we know what this means about my cooking skills. Generally, the only thing that I cook is pasta, sandwiches, and scrambled eggs in the morning. That's basically it. But this time it's a bit different. So we're gonna, should I make this a montage? Yeah, let's do a cookie montage. Let's go! All right, so I just realized something. If I made way too many steps for this to, to make a fucking montage on it, what, what was I thinking? Come on, there's so much things I have to I have to do it, it won't be able it, it will be like a 10 minute montage i'm screwed i can't make a 10 minute montage it's not gonna work and then i have to get this ready like the leaks and stuff i i'll just do a transition okay ready. that's that's my craft that's what i did that's what i spent like two hours making yep yep I probably didn't even do it properly. So this is it. It's really okay. I'm not sure about the chicken, right? I I failed. Ugh. I made all this and the chicken is not cooked properly. It was the slices were too big. But apart from that, it's okay. What I think I'm gonna do now is just put the chicken in the pan cook it for a bit longer, take it out from this, pan fry it, and put it back here. I'm not willing to die over salmonella. It's cooking time, cooking time, cooking time with Tom. Right. So, the objective is to do, how much should I do? at least eight pull-ups with an internal grip, not exterior, internal grip. Okay. One, two. Eight. 
8. Good morning, YouTube. This is the last day, last very day. So, yesterday, I wanted to talk about yesterday's montage that didn't happen. I mean, it did, but... So, you know when you have, like, an idea, and then you realize your idea sucks? Well, I had one of these. Today, I have to go get my... Um, that you know these things right there to get my own for tomorrow's race and still don't have my watch i keep forgetting to put it on but um yeah let's go pick it up all right I got my number and I got everything that I needed. Tonight I'll be eating the same thing as yesterday. Good morning YouTube. Today is the day. So it's 7.30 a.m. right now and I'm gonna go get some breakfast. So oats, a bunch of a bunch of oats with chia seeds. I got a banana big glass of water and American made peanut butter yes I have crunchy because crunchy is superior than smooth smooth has no texture it's boring so I am ready to go I've got everything that I need. this is good stuff this is good stuff I got my lucky hat can't forget this two hours on just imagine if I forget that and I have my drink. <laughs> Let's get it. Let's go. So here we are, back from the race. I mean, I I did the race a few weeks ago. I mean, time has gone by a bit. But I just wanted to make this closing point of this video. And I also want to show you the, the medal that I got. So it's like this. And it's uh, made out of metal. It's, like a, it's not plastic, it's metallic. So that's something I really like. And I have to show you this really cool thing. So there you can see on the front, there's like the really cool design. And there's a little, like, little Olympic characters, I think. That's what they are, right? Maybe Olympic characters, I'm not sure, but they look really cute and funny. And if I go on the back, there's, like, this thing that's glued on to the medal, right? And it's some kind of, like, plastic thing, but it's, it has a weird, it's kind of squishy at the same time. I really like the texture. And so there's the, the, the year I did it in the distance and the time that I did. One hour and 59 minutes. Before the race, the fastest I did a 20K was probably like two hours and 30 minutes. I haven't, I've never gone that that quickly. And everyone was telling me, oh, you have to do it in, in two hours, two hours, two hours, two hours. And well, I did it in less. I was like, fuck this shit. I'm gonna do it in less. I'm gonna blow everyone's mind. And 
beat my record. So I guess that's my new record I have to beat is do it in less than one hour and 59 minutes. What I find funny is when I was talking to people about this, I like, they're like, oh, how cool. How, how fast do you do it? And I was like, I looked and I went less than two hours. All right. And I wait until they're like, really? How much time did it take you? And I was like, one hour and 59 minutes. And then like that, that was basically the whole joke. Ha ha ha. But I guess the moral of this video is you have to go get it. That's it. You need to go get it every single day of the week. You have to go get it day in and day out. You have to go get it. I don't care what it is. If it's, if it's getting big biceps like me, if it's getting big biceps or if it's chasing your dream career or if it's that relationship or this, I don't know, this dream that you want to have, you have to go get it every single day of the week. There's not a day where you should say, mm, I guess I'll put my, my dreams and my goals on, on hold. I, I admit I have some days where I struggle to actually work at them, but I do it anyways, day in and day out. Some days I'll work for it the whole day and some days maybe half an hour or even 10 minutes, right? Every single day you have to go get it, day in and day out. That's the more of the video. And if you enjoyed this, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.